here's hopefully an interesting circuit it's the one that I currently use for the zero voltage input experiment but today I'm running it on 3 volts so I'll show you what it does at first here's the flashing of the LED on the circuit if I bring a load to it which is this LED here you can see the flashing stops when the LED is near if I remove it the LED starts up you bring it toward there we are you see this is how it works it's load sensing it would seem at these component values so what we have is it's basically uh, lid motors penny circuit and then I saw one of Carl Carrington's videos and that put me on to this idea which is to use the laser saber diode or in this case an LED going to the base as I say it's based on lid motors penny so you should be able to work out uh, where it all goes to I've used inductors in this case which are of 220UH and uh, the transistor is a C1815 I've got a permanent resistor there of 680K and I've changed the capacitor the electrolytic that goes across the supply to a 0.1 UF. It also reacts to voltage changes too. So if I go from 3 volts to 4.5, now the light is on. I bring the load to it, you can see the wireless field becomes a heck of a lot better. The coil that I'm using is simply 100 winds there, about uh, 22 gauge, with a piece of ferrite in the middle, and it's on a Crayola marker. As you see, if I go to 4.5, we get a standard wireless field, which isn't too bad at all, off this block of aluminium here, which used to be a PC heatsink. If I go back to 3 volts, we get the flashing back, and we get the reaction to a load. There we are. So, hopefully that one's of use to some people. Uh, thanks again to Lidmotor for the original circuit. Kyle Carrington for putting me on to this and of course Laser Saber for the original diode to the base idea. Okay, thanks for watching.